Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 6. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 22 of Book 6. Now, in this proposition, let's start with four lines, and we have these four lines proportional such that AB to CD is equal to EF to GH. So these four lines are proportional. Now, if we have four proportional lines, and on the first two, we draw similar figures, and on the second two, we draw different similar figures, then this proposition states that the ratio of the area of these two figures will be equal to the ratio of the areas of these two figures, and vice versa. So let's start. This is the long proof, hence the part one. So in this, we are starting with that AB is to CD, as EF is to GH. In other words, the four lines are proportional. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create two new lines, O and P, such that O is the third proportion to A, B, and C, D, and P is the third proportion to EF and GH. And what it means by being the third proportion is that A, B is to C, D, as C, D is to O, and likewise, EF is to GH, as GH is to P. And we can construct these using Proposition 11 of Book 6. Now, if we look at AB to CD is equal to EF to GH and CD to O, and EF to GH is also equal to GH to P. So this is a, B to C, D, so these two here are equal because those two are the same. And then now we have E, F to G, H equals C, D to O, and E, F to G, H is equal to G, H to P. So this is equal to this, and hence these two are equal, and that's what's written here. All right, so C, D to O is equal to G, H to P. Now let's look at these two ratio equalities. We have AB to CD, CD to O, EF to GH, and GH to P. So using Proposition 22, we can almost think of it as doing this. We have AB to O is equal to EF to P. Now, according to uh, the porism of Proposition 19 of this book, if AB is to CD as CD is to O, then the ratio of the areas of these two polygons will be equal to the first to the last, or the ratio of the areas of these two triangles is equal to AB to O. Similarly, the ratio of these two polygons, or quadrilaterals, MF to NH, will be equal to the ratio of EF to P. Now we have AB to O is equal to this, and EF to P is equal to this, and those two are equal. So these two are equal because of this equation, and if these two are equal, it also means that these two are equal, and that is what is shown here. So we have shown that the ratio of the area of these two triangles is equal to the ratio of the area of these two polygons. And that concludes this part of the proof. Now on to the next part of the proof. Now this is not a separate proof, this is a continuation. But what are we trying to show? We are trying to show that if the area of this polygon and this polygon is equal to the ratio of the areas of these two polygons, then their bases, AB to CD, will be equal to the ratio of EF to GH, or that their bases will all be proportional. So in this part, we are going to start with a contradiction. 
So let's assume that these four initial lines are not proportional. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to construct a line QR such that AB to CD is equal to EF to QR. I'm going to draw a um, figure on QR that is similar to NH. So SR is similar to NH. Now since AB to CD is equal to EF to QR, in the previous part of the proof, that means that the area of KAB to LCD is going to be equal to the area of MF to SR. Again, that's from the previous part of the proof. Now KAB to LCD is equal to this ratio here, and it is also equal to this ratio here. So in other words, these two things are equal. So we have MF to NH is equal to MF to SR. However, now we have MF on both sides of this equation, so we can just say, get rid of it, and we're en ending up with that NH is equal to SR. Now we're talking about the areas, but since NH and SR are similar, that means that they are equal because they have equal area, equal angles, equal ratios of the sides. So the areas are equal and we have shown that QR is equal to... All right, I made a mistake here, just a minute. We have shown that GH is equal to Q Q R. Sorry about that, that's a mistake. Did I write it wrong here? I wrote it here, I wrote it correctly. All right. Now, if AB is to CD as EF is to QR, since QR is equal to GH, we have that AB to CD is equal to EF to GH. And thus we have shown if we have the area of these two similar polygons is equal to, or the ratio of these two polygons is equal to the ratio of these two polygons, then the ratio of the bases is proportional. And that's it.